Pokemon fans, welcome to the Dex, where we do trivia and strategy for a different Pokemon each week. I'm Icy Guy Alex. And I'm Pokekills. This week, well, we got nothing. Nothing? Yep. Oh. Uh, well, unless Giancarlo Cromago shows up out of nowhere with an idea of who he wants to do, what are the likelihood of that happening? Hey. Hey, John. That's Zoom Amos White. Oh, yeah! He's one of my favorites. Great, great. How'd that happen? How did that happen? Yeah, man, Mamoswine's the twin tusk Pokemon. He's that big furry ice ground type from Gen 4. It was later a final evolution added onto the Swine Up and Pyloswine line from Gen 2. More like Wooly. Mamoswine seems to be a cross between a boar and a Wooly Mammoth, hence its name, Mammoth and Swine. Mamoswine evolves from Pyloswine if you level it up while it knows ancient power, which is appropriate because it's super ancient. Yeah, apparently Mamoswine thrived during the Ice Age of Pokemon, whenever that was, and their population started to dwindle once the climate started to warm up. Wait, the Ice Age of Pokemon? What happened? I gotta imagine Karim was just like, yo, let me be the dude for a couple thou, bros, and Daddy Ars is just like, I peace. Maybe, actually, but speculation aside, here's what we know. Mamoswine's tusks are made of solid ice, which is crazy, and apparently they can also live forever because one time, scientists found one in 10,000-year-old ice, and when they dug it out, it woke up. Whoa, really? Yeah, ain't that nutty? How did you get here? I flew. And hey, that reminds me of this week's ridiculous segment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some animal influences. You flew? That dex entry for Mamoswine reminded me of Yuka, a young mammoth found perfectly preserved in ice back in 2010. Oh yeah, she kind of renewed interest in the possibility of cloning extinct animals, right? Because didn't she have intact fur and a complete brain? Yeah, but unfortunately, 39,000 years hadn't been kind to old Yuka, and her viable DNA had been totally destroyed. If only we had a better sample! Well, funny you should say that, because in May of 2013, another extremely well-preserved mammoth was found. But this was only, wait for it, 10,000 years old. Sounds familiar. Yeah, I heard about this. It had living blood and tissue cells, and they're gonna get the DNA and put it in an elephant egg cell and clone it. Guys, they're really working on this right now. Science is awesome. Granted, mammoth swine wasn't invented before either of these discoveries were made, but what if scientists actually do wake up a 10,000 year old mammoth? Perhaps it was the faraway dream of one Game Freak designer, and just by putting the vibes out there, the world took the quantum entanglement by the horns, and boom, there's the perfect mammoth waiting under the ice, ready to come back. Wow, that was really neat. Right? Yeah, but now let's forget about that. It's time to get serious. Gen 6 Mammoth Swine Battle Strategy starts right now. Oh yeah, Poke, wait a minute. You should, uh, you should do the guess. Pokemon. Yeah! Mammoth Swine doesn't have the deepest moot pool ever, but his attack stat is beast, and so he does pretty good at sweeping and wall breaking. Start off with a naive one and super train it in attack and speed. Boost his attack even more by giving him a life orb to hold, and with his ability thick fat, you're not really gonna have to worry about his weakness to fire types. Isn't that cool? Speaking of cool, give him Icicle Crash as a great stab ice move that can get through Focus Sash, Sturdy, and Multi Scale. It's crazy how much damage this move can do sometimes. On top of that, Earthquake is a stab classic, Ice Shard gives you great stab priority for a clean revenge kill, and then, hmm, what about that last slot? Duh, Braid Freeze right onto him with a Delibird. Sure, it's a special attack, but it totally womps on all kinds of bulky water types. And that's it. Of course, that's not the only way to train a Mammoth Swine, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. Using Icicle Crash instead of Icicle Spear eliminates a lot of the chance from the battle and hits for more damage more reliably. Look out for that 90% accuracy, though. If you're in VGC, sometimes Protect can be a little bit more valuable than Free Strike. Protect's freaking OP in VGC, man. And finally, Mammoth Swine also works great as a Focus Sash Stealth Rock user. Leading with all that attack power can really throw people off their game sometimes. Try it. And there you have it! Mammoth Swine, the defrosted woolly pig thing. Who said Gen 4 wasn't totally awesome? Yeah, man. And hey, thanks for coming to do the show with us, John. No problem. I had a really awesome time. And don't worry, Alex. I know things seem impossible sometimes, but the less time you spend worrying about it, the more fun you can have. That is so real, man. Dang. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash thatonevideogamer. Links in the description. You too can have your name scroll across the credits. Yeah, and click here for John's channel. He's one of the original Pokemon YouTubers. There's tons of stuff to check out. I'm PokeKells. I'm John Carlo Paramango11. And I'm Icy Guy Alex. Tune in next week for another super OU episode of The, the Dex. Dex. Wow, that was really neat. Right? Yeah, but that's 
in the past. Let's forget about that because it's time to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> Links in the description. You too can have your name scroll across the credits. Yeah, and click here for John Chan. Jo John Chan. John Chan. John Chan. John Chan. Dun -dun. <laughs> Click here for JonTron. No problem, I had an awesome time. And don't worry, Alex, I know things may seem impossible sometimes, but the less time you spend time... <laughs> the less, less time, time you spend, spend time... time. <laughs> <laughs>